Yeah. Yeah, so see. I'm kind of trying to start from scratch on that part where I'm like, first, let's see how early we could do it, early, early, and then how do we deal with certain things. Like, there might be a situation where I have to make the Ravagers inside, find out where the tank is, make the Ravagers away from it, unless it's in the same area of the hatchery. Um, the burrow spread, I have to spread see how it work spreading the the roaches and burrow and then making more um yeah i gotta i gotta see how fast i can do this just to make sure i'm doing it fast i see two <laughs> what's cooking cheesecake always learning Always learning. So, pull at 40 seconds. The drone. At, let's say 30 seconds. But... Well, let's see. Let's say 30 seconds. Oh, the pool and the drone, I can make two. What happened? Celestial? Florencio. What to test when we won? Want to test when we won versus my team? No, I'm not, not, I'm not, um, like, I'm, right now I'm just doing something where I don't need any player, where I don't even need a computer. I'm not, te I'm not, uh, I'm just like, what I'm doing is I'm trying to do math right now. I'm trying to do the math between when I can do, uh, like, how would I say it? If you do things really slow and detailed, you get so much information out of that. When you do things way quicker, you miss a lot of things because you're not, you know, you don't have that time to go and think about every moment. Um, like a still, sh a still shot, you know, think, look at a still shot every time and then think about every moment and try to like, look at the minerals, look at the timing, theor theorize. What can you do? What can you, what, how can you improve uh, this particular part? If you can't, is it maxed? Uh, so it's not something I need where I, I need to do it on somebody because like I'm barely still trying to calculate the timings. And I'm still trying to figure out what should I do? When should I do it? You know, once I memorize that, then I do it on, like homework. What I do is I do it like homework. I'll do it like standards. I, I write it, you know, 50 times each um, where I'm like, I, I do it till my brain memorizes the build order and the, and once I memorize the build order, then I do it on somebody technically, you know, then I, then I go, okay, that way I don't confuse myself and mess up the order bef well, before I even memorize it. Then and I'm making mistakes from the beginning again, because I'm not like really making sure um, my brain is memorizing the most detailed order versus a mixture of orders just because I can't remember the timings. I'm all about timings. I'm all about the clock. The clock is my friend. If I don't use the clock, then it becomes, you know, again, it goes against me. Yeah, that's what I was doing last, uh, what was it, two days ago? Uh, I was testing... A hatchery at the natural and a hatchery in the main, a hatchery in the natural and a hatchery in the outside base um, to, to see how things are. But um, before I do that, though, I still need to sharpen up just the fact of when should I make the hatchery? When should I make the gas? When should I make the roach warren? When should I get the burrow tech? When should I do I need the second gas? Do I not need the second gas? Why do I need it? Um, 
is it efficient do i need it before the roach warren do i need it after the roach warren you know when do i get the overlords um you know since i'm not a zerg player i still don't have the basic memorized to what optimal is to what i want to do so i'm just like starting from scratch so this is just me doing my math do it's it's homework but i rather do homework than to just like you know keep doing something that i want to do where i'm like okay i can do i can make something with that and i don't really put in the homework and i just kind of just wing it i'm not really doing myself justice so this yeah, is your so i don't know I'm, I'm all about timing after this there is no turning back you take Lord. the blue pill Chronial. Story what up? You How's it going? Bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Yeah, so the reason why I do this right here is because I can um like I could I could pretty much um pause it, right? I pause it and I can think every moment I can think, okay, I did this part, what do I do next? I look at my gas, I look at the, I'm like, okay, I could afford this. You know, right now, this is my still shot. I go, okay, cool, everything's perfect. So once I'm done with it and I get everything perfect by cutting it, then I watch the replay over and over again. Once I watch the replay over and over again, then I practice it a little bit over and over again. Uh, and then after that, it should be in my head. What I do next, kind of like, you know, second nature. But that's that's how I do things. That's that's why everything is detailed in my games. That's why I have a, a reason for everything or almost a reason for everything. Um, you know, all my moves matter uh, as part of the whole game plan. So that's the whole reason because I do this stuff and I kind of like ponder. It's not the funnest to watch, but it's either do it on stream or do it off stream. And... Okay, so Overlord, and then we make the um, the pool and the gas. Get a drone or not get a drone? That's the question. Uh, because I could be getting a pool first. Um, now we're gonna see if the gas. We're going to see if the gas pools send the drone out is a good timing, or is it uh, gas send the drone out, then pool is the timing. Hey, thank you, Lord Cranio. Uh, how was your stream? And then two, just two overlords for the first period. Cause then I start adding how many overlords max do I need to do the build and make sure I have that count. And that'll just be something like a little check. And then um, I made the hatchery at 135. So we're at 125 and I sent the drone after the, the pool, if I'm not mistaken. So... Four, five, okay. Get the picture of the pool. And then I sent the drone. And I still had like ten seconds. So Okay, so at 40, what's... So when the... When the extractor finishes, I could start sending it in. So when I transition into extractor gas, then I could send three in and one out. And then that way it's like um, like a dance. It's gotta be, there's gotta be like markers for other things. If you're doing markers for other things, you can memorize things better. You're a lot more efficient 
to like more fluid so I'm trying to find markers of when I can do what and what time that's why I'm kind of like trying to get an average of when does the hatchery get the drone get there where I only have a few seconds to, to have to worry about things and make a hatchery than to stay there for a little while looking suspicious and it's not even looking suspicious that's the problem it's just me just trying to sharpen it to like cut the fat you know cut the fat that you need to if you don't um if, if there's time you need to just cut out just make sure you delay it instead of like go way too early because i can mine a little bit more you know that's like maybe 10 maybe 15 minerals that i could actually um get before i send it out and that's pretty big in these small little like timing intros so right here yeah after the gas so we'll look at this right here right 121 and I'm at a uh, 150 and that's because I'm getting drones and then that's that's kind of what I think I want to do I want to focus on making sure I maximize the drones uh, so that I can so I can maximize the power of the attack with uh, every larva that I can um, or for a follow-up transition you know so objective right now is for me is maximize the drone potential at your mineral line while doing this to you know the timing of and then sharpen it if you need to I mean definitely it's 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 an art you kind of like have to mess with it okay so right here what we're gonna do since we're not there yet we have like 150 44 seconds so what I want to do is go back to when I send the drone so tech right here I'm gonna send a drone so that's where I'm gonna start not send the drone. Now I send it. And so I kind of test these little things. Which one's better? What's faster? What's more efficient? Um, but I do it best this way. Because I can go back and rewind. Cut it and start over right where I want it to left off. After that the replay is saved. And then I can watch it like a movie so right here I'm looking at this um, now I did make a few more drones than I did before 135 135 that's the time that I made it last time 135 so if we look at our paper the hatchery at 135 now that is very important right here because this might not be the number it might be earlier than this and I might have to cut drones and the reason why I say that is because remember remember that the tank comes out the, the tank comes out at uh what, did, what time did I say uh, where did I write it? Oh yeah, tank out at 3.30. 3.34 so far. Uh, 3.34. So we got to, this is, this right here, and when you start your hatchery, for us, is going to be very important. Very important. Because that's going to be the opportunity of getting those roaches out before the tanks get one tank gets uh positioned and you know maybe i can get a ravager at that time or maybe i can burrow them in separate spots force out the scan and then uh maybe get enough roaches to eventually just go in you know so that's why it's very important for me to like squeeze this in to like um just as sharp as i can because that tank is is what i worry about you know
But Flo, isn't the timing a little different every time? Yes. That's why you do this in all the maps. And you get it like a, what do you call it? Like a slight, you give it some slack. You give it some slack. That's why, that's why at the moment I'm like, okay, this is good because what I was thinking about here is, I was like, this is good because right now, when I made this hatchery, before when I got here, before I didn't have that many drones, but here, it's 126, I'm at um, 175, not even at 300, so this difference right here. I'm considering myself kind of like okay this waiting time is still okay because there's bigger maps and so the bigger maps are gonna give you know give me a little bit more walk so I'm kind of looking at this like well that's not that bad that means on a bigger map I'll be right there and then I'll make the hatchery right when I get there um, so yeah I, I do accommodate those things I just didn't say that but that's what I was thinking when I looked at this going well, still wait but I, uh, when I thought about that, I said, but that's okay though, because 135 was the time that I wrote the other one. I was like, okay, well, that still worked. So I, so I kind of went off to make sure I told you guys about the 135, that it's still within reason, even if I kind of like had the same problem where I had like 10 second delay of being here. But I was okay with it because I made more drones. So now I'm at 15 drones before I was at like 13 or something like that. I think it was 13 drones now I'm at 15 drones so I'm one drone away from actually getting a full saturation which means that I'm almost complete so if I can almost complete this by missing one drone which is this one and make a hatchery I think I feel like this is very efficient at this point right this is the part where I'm like okay from here on it looks good now let's go to the next part and like we take it piece by piece I feel like tank can come much quicker and that is true that's why right now, that's why you see me like kind of like writing numbers down, you know, 30, 34, you know, kind of like, I know that there's going to be, but there's only going to be so fast that a tank can come out. So then what I'll do, if I don't have it and I need to get at it, I'll produce it. I'll be a Terran player and I'll do this right here all the way to a tank and then I'll know how fast it takes to get the tank out. I'll put that into my... Um, my calculations and go okay this is because you got to look at it worst case scenario right now that tank timing is going to be what i need to work on that's going to tell me if i that's going to tell me if i if i could afford 15 drones or if it has to be 13 or if it has to be 12 just because you have to cut some things to get it quicker if i need to get a quicker hatchery to get a faster roach to get the faster roach to counter the tanks then i have to figure out how many drones i have to cut back but before that, you want to be greedy in the build and then cut back. You don't want to already cut back and then you might have potential somewhere to, sh you could have done more with it. So right now you start with as much as you could, then you cut, cut, cut based on, you know, the player's play style. But majority of the time, it's going to be a 1-1-1 one, 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 and everybody does a 1-1-1 one, one, one very comfortably. So the timing normally should be decent other than greedy players you know the greedy Terran players but i'm not looking about the, the greedy i'm looking about the 111 build because that's the most common build that um that i'm gonna face um, the other one's gonna probably be like the three racks i have to those are probably the two main ones the 111 and the three racks are gonna be the two that i have to um test this timing out and kind of sharpen it up Cause that's where the the challenge would be i would say um the other part would be try to figure out what game plan do i want to do if the scvs come and deny the hatchery so i, I want to find out i'll start thinking about that based on the timings and all that if um what i need to do there and if i need to do adjustment to the build once i figure out that okay so when they scv uh deny the hatchery what what's my game plan you know should i have a secondary drone somewhere making a hatchery just in case uh or should i have it on the side so that if this fails then i can just quickly make this hatchery here and not skip a beat um but have to do it at the bottom you know things like that do i have to send two drones 
And with the two drones, I'll split one drone out and make the hatchery. And then do the build, and then I'm definitely undetected. Which I might do uh, with Protoss, because they tend to get a proxy in the outside in the choke. Which I've done before. Hey, boom. Hey, boom. Um, you you want to do some team games with some viewers? We could have like just like a chill, chill stream. Let me know. Okay. That's where I left off. So I feel like that's okay. So I'll go over here. So like back here, I'm still constantly looking at my um, my supply, my supply because I'm trying to see if I need it. So right here, I put. put, put, put. Uh, pool, hatch, drown, burrow, burrow at two minutes. So the gas is the next part of me, kind of like looking at it, because I do a burrow, roach tech at two ten. So once I get the hatchery, so let's get the hatchery. Okay, we need a drone. Oh, we're gonna need it all for a roach one, right? And we're at 20. Two ten roach. Okay, we're still in timing. Okay, I do the yeah roach check at two ten. Oh, okay, so it's, let me see. I could probably get it earlier. So. Two oh four could actually get it earlier. Let's quit rewind. Okay, so right here, saturated. Uh the tech is one hundred one hundred. We already have a hundred gas, so we can make it. Um I don't I don't need the queen here, so I can go for the tech. Um, hatchery started. Okay, right here. Sixteen workers. The hive so, cluster is under attack. Tech is going up. Roach one's up. So now it's just overlord, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Next time. Okay, so we got the hatchery up at 248. Hatchery roach is gonna come up right now. And our burrows almost done. Go 
Yeah, the, the roach comes up. have a lot of gas what do you need I think that that's a decent amount of roaches where 44 might be a decent amount of overlords but we have a lot more a lot more minerals so we could actually make it quicker we can make it we can make the hatchery quicker because I don't need that much let's rewind it I don't, like, I don't like when I'm attacking and stuff and I have a lot of minerals and stuff left over. I feel like I have more room to, to squeeze the, the rush. That or I have to send more, more... That or I have to send like the roaches from here, right? Like send roaches from here that way and then this one right here as well. But I think a quicker hatchery is going to be even more efficient. I think we're going to be a little more efficient. We can cut some of the, dr the drone in. But let's see. That or like, um, or the second hatchery could start one or the other, right? That's we can make a second hatchery. Um, we have 17 drones right here for one. We don't really need 17, but we could have a drone right here making a hatchery. A Protoss player will normally have, you know, the front. Hmm. I'm at 550. I've been make, I was making them right away. I still have. They are well, at least I know that I don't have to technically get the second gas. We cut that one back. Um, now the one thing though, that if I have to cut back some stuff, I have to see if I cut back, 
if I shorten the hatchery timing, then I have to shorten the uh, the the burrow timing. So I need the the, the burrow timing uh, as well as the roach warren. So there's there's gonna be like a point where I can only do so much in sharpening it um, because of the fact that you still need you need to make sure the the burrow is working at the same time. The roach warren is built um, within a reasonable timing for the hatchery to even be up. You want to make sure that the roaches are up and you have burrow. So those are the two main keys that I want to have. Roach up, burrow. So that I can start stacking and just use up all the larvae as much as I, as fast as I can. Um, so now, right. Quit replay. So then I rename it. Uh, and then I save it because now that I sharpened it to what I think um, I kind of want to do, we're going to watch it real quick. I like going hatch before pull when doing proxy memes. Hatch before pull? Yeah, see, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't play Zerg, so I'm like still seeing what I, what I'm trying to do. But I think this one is more build specific. But uh, hatch before pull. So you get the hat. Yeah, I see. But you're not going burrow in this particular one, huh? Because I'm, I'm trying to tie it up. Where right when I get my roach, I get the burrow. Um, those are the two key things if I speed like I said before like if I speed up the hatch Then it's everything has to tie in or it's not gonna work for me if, if I get the hatchery first, and then I got roach that can pop up, but no burrow yet Then I'm, I'm not where I want to be, but if I got Burrow up and a hatch up, but no roaches yet That's also where I'm not, I don't want to be um, This one's particularly built, but it's good to know um Hatch before pool. Hatchery. I feel like I can sweep the burrow soon. Next to hatchery. Right here, I feel like drone, drone burrow, maybe drone burrow. That way, it's I don't it's that 17. I thought I was gonna. The hive cluster is under okay. Two drones, one goes for roach. I should be at 16 workers. This was excessive. <laughs> These two, um, so. Could do a drone burrow. The hive cluster is Although under attack. the burrow were pretty good right now with the time as long as the hatch is at 135. And so it's important that you know that the hatchery is late or not late when you see that it's above or below the number 135. You look at it and go, oh shit, I made the hatchery, it's 140. Ugh, I'm five seconds behind. The, the timing you know that's how you that's how I look at the game when I look at the timing I, everything's timing for me I'm like oh I'm really behind or I'm ahead or I'm at a decent timing look at the timing like if I don't look at the timing I'll, I'll kind of feel like I'm lost I don't have an actual tracker to let me know where the game is at this moment because I, I remember what comes up at what time that's standard and, and that's like what I use to um, to plan ahead isn't that normal macro standard build? If the hatch goes down late, that's a lot. And like three pros can kill it easy. Down late. Yeah, yeah, that's. See, what you're telling me is the truth, but I don't know the truth. I haven't. I haven't played Zerg enough to know what people do on these. So I like to do things from scratch because there's a lot of things I need to know firsthand. And one of the things is um, I'm not trying to do this build where I feel like it's going to be perfect every game. 
I feel like I just do it, do it, do it, and find out what everybody does, what's their reactions, and then that's homework. Then I go, okay, I did this build exactly verbatim, and these are what these players all did. They find out what the most common things that everybody does, and that's mostly the ones I'm going to work on first. And then the ones that are one-offs, I look at those and try to figure out how I can make those work regarding scouting it or you know identifying whichever way I could. Um, so uh, yeah, I, 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 this isn't the homework is still looking at it, all the replays that you do just to evaluate what you should do. That's like, that's how I operate on that. I do hatch with 12 drone. This is so fun to do. Yeah. There's so many opportunities, so many possibilities of directions, right? But there's... I don't know. I, I'm a person that likes to look at, find the flaws in my, you know, I want to, I want to fall. Let's per se, I, I want to fail because I feel like failing helps you find the answers. And although I can get wisdom from somebody else that plays Zerg, one of the problems that I have is I'm the type of player that memorizes things better when it happened to me. Like, um, when it happens to me, it just impacts me way, way more differently and in my own, you know, thoughts. When I, when I, you know, hear others do certain things, um, I, I just, I look at it like if, you know, I get to understand what somebody else does, but I don't take it to where I'm like, oh, I'm going to do that, uh, because I'm not there yet <laughs> or I don't have the experience to make that thought because I always like to judge my own thoughts with how I play I'm never gonna play standard standard because I don't I'm not gonna follow uh, what people do but I will get close to standard because sometimes things are just just make sense you know once you do their math and everything something just makes sense to do things the way they are um, you know but I like to figure those out <clears throat> you know I don't want to have a calculator. I don't want to have a calculator that does all, does all my work. I want to know how to write every piece of way to get to that formula uh, and to get to the answer. You know, I want to do the homework. I want to know every step and I want to make sure I do it really quick and efficient and I know what to do in each step. I don't want to feel like I need to go to the calculator and go, what's, you know, 33 square root of 3, 4, and 5, you know, 3,600, 500. You know, um, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I do look at that. And I do look at, you know, the game and get an idea of, like, like influence. I do get influenced. Uh, Duke Nukem influenced me with uh, Widow Mines. You know, we, we did a lot of uh, game casts and, you know, Duke Nukem does a lot of Widow Mind plays and he's very, um, you know, very exciting to watch. And so I look at that and I'm like, okay, I like that style. Um, let me see how I could make it my own. You know, let me, let me you know, sewer mermaid it up. Um, you know. But I won't take things to detail. I won't take things to detail. I'll be like, hey, I like that. I'll do that, but with my own swing. Um, because I, I still feel like there's still room to do a little bit diverse things within the same like style. That's what I love about Starcraft. Just so much you could do. Try not to limit yourself. Test, test, and test. Never play. The, yeah, I don't expect to never play the same. Yeah, exactly. I don't. I don't expect to do the same play, but I do expect the first five minutes or four, no, well, not five minutes, the first like three minutes, I feel like that is manageable. I feel like the first three minutes is manageable to the direction of where you're trying to go. It's, um, and that's what I'm trying to do right here. That's why I don't, um, go past too far from the, from the build because the rest of it is really uncontrollable. You can't control everything with a long 
you know build order you can get it like a game plan it could be a game plan if everything goes well to know what the, the pathway is but to expect it to go that way i i would say don't think don't think it that way <laughs> expect shit to go wrong expect someone to mess with mess with your machine and throw a wrench in there you know expect that <laughs> but you know it's not the preparing this burrow one is um the influence is doug sluggins Doug Sluggins um, is a Zerg player. You guys should watch him sometime if you guys don't. Um, if you see him around, he's a really good support, good friend. Uh, and he likes Zerg. And he does uh, burrow, burrow proxies. So I'm putting my spin on uh, burrow proxies since it's a. Uh, burrow is something I was doing in the beginning. Uh, whereas I make the hatchery, I cancel it, and then burrow the the spot so that they can't make an expo there um but i didn't get to the uh the proxy attacks so uh doug sluggins has been doing some really good stuff with it i'm gonna try to put my twist into the um into the play by re going back to the beginning and starting everything that makes sense to go what i was doing just right now trying to figure it all out what's the what's the best best details at least that i think you know in my opinion what i feel like this is my direction like these are my choices i'm struggling to go up ladder because i always open the same but i don't know any other opening um that's the thing uh a lot of it's watching replays honestly i i kid you not the most important thing that got me good at feeling comfortable in transitioning or playing uh, going and walking into the middle of the map or is the timings you know process of elimination you know bailing bus comes out at 320 or 315 so you know you you go oh it's 315 is the bailings coming nope Okay, so he's not going battling. So okay, process elimination might be Roach Ravager. No, Roach Ravager. Nope. For something. Nope. No Ravager. Is it Nidus? 420. 420. Nope. No Nidus. Okay, he's going probably for a macro build. Might be Mutas. Let's start looking for Mutas. I haven't seen any Lings. I haven't seen any Roaches at this time. You know, everything just start calculating. It could be, you know, and, and you do that and you start crossing them in your head. You start crossing the options. And when you do that really well, you can feel like you, you look like you're map hacking because it's all in your head and you're reacting to all the other games and people play similar or people do similar builds so it's like how did he know and so watching your replays doing your homework looking at your timings that's if you want to know how to do other openers you know i just showed you how i just did my uh at least thought and then i'm going to explore it so you 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 have a thought first you got to have an idea where you want to go what do you want to get what units do you want to use how you want to attack is it going to be mid game early game late game 